Hi everyone, I am here with a Bible reading. I hope you guys are having a good day. Today we are going to be reading Revelation chapter 7, Psalm 135, and Proverbs chapter 30, verses 5 and 6. Okay, let me get down there and see what we'll be talking about in Revelation chapter 7. We'll be talking about the 144,000 sealed. What do you think that means? The 144,000. May seem like a lot. But it really is not. When you find out what the number is and means. Let's begin. After this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth to prevent any wind from blowing on the land or on the sea or any time. Any, or any tree. Then I saw another angel coming up from the east, having the seal of the living God. He had, he called out in a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the land and sea. Do not harm the land or the sea or the trees until we put a seal on the foreheads of the servant of our God. Then I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 from all the tribes of Israel. Those who want to be saved when the end of the world comes. From the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. From the tribe of Gad, 12,000. From the tribe of Asher, 12,000. From the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000. From the tribe of Nasa, 12,000. From the tribe of Simeon, 12,000. From the tribe of Levi, 12,000. From the tribe of Issachar, 12,000. From the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000, 12, sorry. Oh. From the tribe of Joseph, 12,000. And from the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000. After this, I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, tribe, people, and language standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They were wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands, and they cried out in a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. All the angels were standing around the throne and around the elders, and the four creatures. They fell down on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, saying, Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanks and honor and power and strength be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, These in white robes, who are they? And where did they come from? I answered, Sir, you know. And he said, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they were born the throne, or sorry, they were before the throne of God and served him day and night in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water, 
and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Amen. And that is Revelation chapter 7. Okay. And now our psalm today is Psalm 135. Let's see how many verses it has. Whoa, it's a long one. 21 verses. Psalm 135. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, you servants of the Lord, you who minister in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praise to His name, for that is pleasant. For the Lord has chosen Jacob to be His own, Israel to be His treasured possession. I know that the Lord is great, that our Lord is greater than all gods. The Lord does whatever pleases Him in the heavens and on the earth, in the seas and all their depths. He makes clouds rise from the ends of the earth. He sends lightning to the rain and brings out the wind from His storehouses. He struck down the firstborn of Egypt, the firstborn of people and animals. He sent his sign and wonders into your midst, Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. He struck down many nations and killed mighty kings, Shion, king of the Amorites, Og, king of Bashan, and all the kings of Canaan. And he gave their land as an inheritance an inheritance to his people Israel. Your, your name, Lord, endures forever. Your renown, Lord, through all generations. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, made by human hands. <laughs> they have mouths but can't speak. Bodies. They're made by human hands. That is not, that is not a god. A person made that thing. It is not alive. It is not a god. It is not a god. I don't understand how people could do, do that. The idols of the nations are silver and gold, made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear, nor is there breath in their mouths. Those who make them will be like them and so will all who trust in them. All you Israelites, praise the Lord. House of Aaron, praise the Lord. House of Levi, praise the Lord. You who fear him, praise the Lord. Praise be to the Lord from Zion, to him who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. All right, guys, and that was our uh, Bible reading. And now let me go to the prayer request. If you guys um, watched the um, Joys of Christmas video yesterday, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be doing another one tonight. And um, the Circle of Kindness goes with it as well. It's the last one I have right now, though. Okay, so please keep the following people in prayer. Danette Rager and her family. Um, Amanda Burt's family. Rhonda Karshner. Sherman Crabtree. He doesn't feel good at all today. Please pray for him. Cindy and Jim Welsh. Layla and Emil. 
Abby and Sonny, Jimmy Myers, Dora Harper, Judy Thompson. Seen Granny Judy today. She came and brought us some, a lot of stuff. She looked really good. Her, she got her hair cut real short, and she looked really, really good. She looked really, she looked good. You know, she's got all that stuff wrong with her and everything, but hey, she's still doing stuff, you know? And she looks good, so I'm hoping, you know, you, she gets better and is staying better. I love her and Judy. Um, please keep Cara Newman in your prayers. You know, she's probably about to be really um, nervous about the um, DMC. Because I sure don't want to have her have a hysterectomy. Because she wants a baby with her husband so bad. And I know how that is. I cried out to God so many times. So many times I'd be crying and begging and pleading for God to let me have a baby. But it never happened. It never happened. She she got pregnant and had a miscarriage of, you know, a year or two ago, a few years ago. So we know she's able to get pregnant, but I never, I never did or could. I don't know. But please keep her in your prayers. Um, please keep Garnet Boyer and Jim Mitchell in your prayers. I guess Jim is uh, in a lot of pain tonight. He can't move around very good, but he's hurting. It's probably the weather. He's, he's elderly and, you know, it's raining hard here and all drip. His bones are hurting. We've all been hurting today. But you know he's older, so it makes it a lot worse. He uh, can't walk around hardly at all, I guess, right now. Because of pain. Please um, pray for John Ayers. He has cancer. And he says his family doesn't care. So please care and pray for him. Um, and please pray for Elizabeth Jeffries. I still don't know where she is. I'm so, we're still trying to... I still have to try to find out where Elizabeth is, what hospital she... or hospital, what nursing home she is in. I'd like to go visit her. Well, that was everything, I think, for our Bible reading today. I hope... Um, you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye guys. God bless.